What is happening troops? Welcome back to another video on the Sharp Dev YouTube channel. It's been a few uploads since I've actually just sat down and had a wee conversation. In this video today, I'm going to be giving my prediction, some analysis and some background on Rangers vs Spartak Moscow, which happens tomorrow in Russia. Now I'm going to start introducing the like target again because it really helps the channel grow. So if we can hit 500 likes in this video that would be very much appreciated. In the last few uploads I've been putting a lot into podcasts and you might have saw some of them. If you haven't you should definitely go back and watch them. I'm now going to cut to a clip from my recent podcast with Ryan118 who obviously makes Celtic videos. Yo! Ryan one one eight. What? I didn't want this this. This kid is just unfit. We're almost at one fifty. Damn that's so lit. So back to this kid, I'm about to throw in a pit. What's that? Bro, you're stuck in Scotland, I'm flying to Ibiza It's 2018 and you're still playing FIFA It's time to come together, I want immersion You look like a serial killer mixed with a virgin Sorry, um, we're we'll just having a wee bit of technical difficulties here Let's roll the clip Through those glasses you can't see that you look like dog crap At the start I thought this only was a diss But you actually like Celtic, that's taking the piss <sighs> Sorry about that, uh, I don't know what's happening there to be honest, so we're gonna just need to skate over that. If you want to see the episode, you'll need to, you'll need to head over to it and just get a wee watch. So Rangers have already played Spartak Moscow in the group stages and it was at Ibrox and a 0-0 draw. This match happened 14 days ago and since then, Rangers form hasn't been the greatest. There's been a 1-0 defeat to Aberdeen in the semi-finals of the League Cup. There has been a one each draw with Kilmarnock and there's also been a, a very edgy, scrappy 2-0 victory away to League strugglers St Mirren. Spartak's form however has been very similar to Rangers. After the game versus Rangers they managed to get a 1-0 draw with Ruben Kazan which is a really good result for them and then they went on to get a 1-0 victory versus a team that was struggling in the relegation zones in Russia. However a big positive for Rangers can be that they suffered defeat to FC Euro in the last match 2-1. So they're going into this match with Rangers coming off the back of a defeat which is always good and Rangers are coming off the back of a victory. Spartak Moscow are actually the most successful team to ever come out of Russia. So Spartak Moscow are used to winning trophies, they're used to competing for the league, but so far in the league, they are sitting on five victories, four draws and three defeats. There is a lot of teams above them, including Zenit, CSKA Moscow, Lokomotiv Moscow, you know, a lot of other teams are above them right now and they will be probably looking more so at the league rather than the Europa League, I think, in terms of getting better results. Because at a club of that size, the standards are to compete and to compete for the league. So that is another positive for Rangers going into this match. So far, the Russian Giants are actually only averaging one goal per game, which sucks, to be honest, with the amount of games that they have played. But I've identified their most influential and threatening player and it's a player named Zé Louise who actually played at Ibrox and I thought struggled at Ibrox but in the Russian Premier League so far he's scored five goals so he is a player that our defence is going to need to watch very very carefully. In the last matchup Rangers fielded an 11 with Alan McGregor, James Tavernier, Warrell, Goldson, Flanagan, Ajaya, Jack, Kuabali, Candias, Morelos and Kent up top. But I've got some devastating news. It is a rumour that is floating about on social media and from the video that the official Rangers FC Twitter posted, it doesn't look like Ryan Kent has made the trip to Russia. I don't know if he's just been left out due to him maybe being tired or if he's actually picked up an injury. If he has picked up an injury, it's going to be a big, big loss to Rangers. So he will not feature with the looks of things in Russia. Now I'm going to move on to my predicted slash team I want to play in this match. I'm going to put Alan McGregor in goals. Out at right back, James Tavernier. I think he'll just fit back in there. Two centre backs, I'm actually going to go with Goldson and Katic. I would like to... Give Katic an opportunity and maybe give Waro a rest. If Waro is the number one centre-back or the number one centre-back partnership with the big man Goldson, maybe it's time we gave him a rest and give Katic another opportunity. At left-back, I'm going to go with someone that you might be a wee bit surprised of me putting back in there due to the fact that he was dropped. 
and uh, his performance was pretty bad in that game, it's going to be Flanagan. I'm going to put Flanagan in there because I think he plays to the level in which he's playing against. I think that in the Spartak Moscow home game, he wasn't the, the worst player and before that he had three or four great performances. So I'm going to put him back in there because in these away trips you need to be defensively sound. Moving into the midfield and I would like to see two centre defensive mids start this game versus Moscow. So I'm going to go with Halliday and Ryan Jack. Which leaves the question who will be dropped out of Ajaya and Arfield. I am going to drop... Ah, such a hard, such a hard one, isn't it? I'm going to drop Arfield simply because he's just came back. Out in the left with Kent obviously missing. Will it be Gresda or will it be Middleton? I would like to see it be Middleton. I thought Gresda had his opportunity in the weekend, he didn't really do much apart from hit the post before being substituted so I would like to see Middleton, Glenn Middleton get another opportunity. Out on the right I would like to see Candace come back at the starting lineup. I think when he starts on the right hand side with Tav behind him, they just complement each other really really well and obviously up front, it's going to be the Buffalo it's going to be Alfredo Morelos and lastly I'm going to give you my prediction for the Rangers versus Spartak Moscow group stage game that is taking part in Russia I will be happy with a draw people. With our form the way it's been and their form the way it's been, I will be very happy with a draw. So that's going to be my prediction, either a 0-0 or a 1 each draw. If we can sneak it 1-0, that would make me very, very happy. But that's going to do us for this video. If you've enjoyed it, please like the video and subscribe to the channel as we shoot towards 55k. We're on our way. I'll see you in the next one. I've been Sharp Dev and I'm out. By the way, that was a diss track on Ryan 1 minute at the start. All my weakness keep on leaving.